one of my favorite all-time treats for my chickens is oatmeal. Now, oatmeal should not be fed to your chickens on a regular basis, nor should it be a food supplement. Oatmeal can actually cause diarrhea in chickens, and so who wants to deal with that, right? But oatmeal as a treat or as a food enhancement can actually be a really great thing for your chickens. We recently went on vacation and when we got home, I wanted to add some adaptogen herbs into my chicken feed. We were able to accomplish this by making up a big batch of steel cut oatmeal and then adding several herbs and minerals to the oatmeal, mixing it up really good and giving it to them as a morning treat. Now you'll start by measuring out how much oatmeal you want for your flock. I probably did about four cups of oatmeal. And so you, you just need to look at the directions on how much oatmeal you're using to how much water you need. I think I did about a, you know, a four to four ratio. Um, it was probably a little bit more than that, but mostly it's mostly like a one to two or one to one ratio. I don't use instant or one minute oats. I like getting the all natural steel cut oats because it's healthier. And so you can choose what you want, but I would highly suggest getting the steel cut oats. When the oatmeal is done, I poured it into a big bowl and I started adding some of their favorite treats. I had a few brown bananas that we didn't eat on vacation, and so I added those to the mix, including the peels, because they do enjoy eating the peels. I also added some herbs, such as astragalus root, which is a great adaptogen herb, and it helps them adapt to stress. And we had just lost some of the, our flock when we went on vacation, so this is a great way to adapt to stress, their, you know, get their immune systems back in order, and kind of clear out any parasites that we're in. So we use astragalus root, thyme, oregano, calendula, and chamomile. I also added some flax, whole flax seed. I always do the whole flax seed because if you buy ground flax seed, it actually goes bad a lot quicker. And then we added whole chia seeds. Both of these have a lot of protein and calcium, and so these were a great, uh, great way to get that into their systems as well. Finally, I added a good portion of molasses to the oatmeal. Not only does this enhance the flavor, but it's full of calcium, iron, and other minerals that chickens benefit from greatly. A lot of farmers give their cattle sweet feed or give, you know, all molasses to their, their livestock. And we do the same thing with our chickens, not because it's enticing to them and it tastes good, but because it's full of great minerals that benefits their digestive tract. And so this was just an oatmeal that I gave to them to help get their systems back in order, clean out anything that was in their system, and just give them a really good treat after us being on vacation. Now you can do this once a week. Uh, you can do it once every couple of weeks or just once a month. As a maintenance, I tend to do it once a week or twice a month, which is once every other week. And it's a great way to get those maintenance herbs into your chickens if you're not wanting to add those herbs into your feed already. Now you can pick and choose which herbs you want to add. If you have my book, then you can kind of go through those herb lists and see which herbs you can give your chickens. I also have another book coming out in 2019, of spring 2019. And I haven't released the title yet and I haven't released a lot of information about it. But it is a natural chicken book and it's going to have this recipe in it. And it'll have an entire herb list in there. And so once I have that, uh, if you're watching this in the future, uh, like weeks from now and months from this date that it's posted, I've probably already posted it. And I'll come back and post it in the links of the description. Otherwise, I will share it with you guys on pre-order once it's ready. So pick your herbs. I chose astragalus as an immune booster, thyme as an antiparasitic, oregano as a uh, natural antibiotic, Calendula, which has a lot of omega-3s in it, so it enhances their egg yolk, which actually in turn enhances your health because you're getting those omega-3s through their egg yolks. And then the chamomile was just to soothe their digestive tract, to help calm them, and just a nice aromatic touch. Stir it all up, mix it all together, make it look pretty if you want to, and then go ahead, let it cool off quite a bit before giving it to your animals. In the winter time, it's great to give warm. It helps warm their bodies up. In the summertime, it's great to let it cool to room temperature and give it to them that way. Your chickens will love it. It's simple and easy to mix. It takes less than 10 minutes, and it's a really great way to keep your chickens healthy and happy.
I hope you guys enjoyed this recipe. It's really simple and easy to do, and I hope to share some more of these tips with you in the near future. Hope you guys have a great day. Happy homesteading.